As the high school football recruiting cycle seemingly never stops, prospects are juggling the timing of their commitment to their given college. One of the top recruits in Hampton Roads is choosing to make his decision prior to his senior season. Here's our James Cotato with the story. Hey, what's going on everyone? James Cotato with the Sports Wrap. We're here at Green Run High School and we're joined by this star wide receiver, Keelan Adams. Keelan, ranked the fourth highest rated player in the Commonwealth, one of the best receivers in the country and a four star recruit. Keelan, how's it going, man? Thanks so much for spending the time. Thanks for having me. So obviously, see the bands on your wrist. South Carolina, Bama, Pitt, Virginia Tech, Ohio State. I saw on Twitter where you were like, everybody calm down, chill out. Like it's coming July 13th. What's the mentality like? What are the emotions like? We are so close to the commitment. Um, it's honestly a blessing because a lot of people don't get the opportunities that I've, I've gotten with this football stuff. So I'm um, really just blessed to be able to even say stuff like that on Twitter to tell people relax I'm committed soon because a lot of people don't get to do that so I'm, I'm really excited I had a good time with the recruiting stuff honestly but um, kind of ready for it to come to an end a little bit yeah. I've been doing this since eighth grade so since eighth grade I mean you're 12 13 years old and you're getting those first letters in the mail what have these past couple of years been like for you you got to make a lot of sacrifices that a lot of people don't want to make you got to you got to not go to parties, you got to not hang out with your friends so you can watch film or work on your craft and perfect your craft. So it's a lot of sacrifices that's being made with it. And you see where I'm at now, I got four stars, I'm able to do stuff like football wise that's going to change my life. So You're approaching a, an absolutely historical milestone that hasn't been touched in decades. It's the state records. A little less than 600 yards away, six touchdowns away. Have you thought about that? It didn't really hit me until I went, I went home and I was sitting there with my step pops and I looked them up. And then I looked up the records and I did the math on it and I was really, it was real close. I was I could really break this. I feel like it's just showing how all the hard work paying off. And so there's a lot of all pro, pro bowl, super bowl winning NFL players that have come out of Hampton Roads. Obviously, Plaxico Burris walked through these same halls, played on these fields. What is the legacy that you hope to continue from Hampton Roads football? I don't, know. I don't really want to remember me for football, though. I want to remember me for me, like, because it's more than my life and it's more to me than just football. Like, I'm still a person at the end of the day, so I probably want to remember me for like, my personality, like, what type of person I am instead of football. And what type of person do you want people to, to know you as? A great person, like, I'm not the type of guy that's just going, like, if I'm sitting here with my brother and, and I got some food, my brother don't got no food, like, I'm going to split it with him. Like, I'm not going to let you starve while I eat type thing. Like, I'm gonna make sure you straight if I'm straight type thing. And I hope it's the same if Rose is reverse. July 13th, that's the commitment. Show the bands, show the bands. Five teams left. We got Bama, South Carolina, Pitt, Ohio State, and Virginia Tech. So make sure that you stay tuned on Keelan's Twitter. We'll have all that at wavy.com. For now, at Green Run, I'm James Catado with the Sports Wrap.